What's up everyone, today I'm gonna teach you how to draw meringue from Animal Crossing New Horizons. If you are new to this channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I'm gonna draw on my welcome tablet, but you can follow my tutorials with any other media that you have, whether it's pencil color, sharpie, or crayon. Now I'm gonna start with drawing her horn, so I'm gonna draw the base of the horn with a curved line across right there, and on both sides I'm gonna draw a curved line up. To the tip of the horn and inside the horn I'm gonna draw the strawberry seeds and at the base I'm gonna draw across along the base a curve line like that and on the side I'm gonna draw a curve line right there and then I'm gonna turn it up to the back to the ear and for the front part I'm gonna draw a curve line down to the tip of her mouth and then I'm gonna make a turn up to the side and then I'm gonna make I'm gonna change the direction sideways and stop there and for the lower part of her mouth, I'm gonna take this one here and draw a curve line to the right and then turn it slightly downwards at the side and then I'm gonna make a turn up at the side of her head right there and then for her ears, I'm gonna take this one and draw a curve line out slightly outwards at the center and back in at the tip of the ear and then we're gonna make a turn down to the base of the ear inside the ear I'm gonna draw a curve line up and to the left and then I'm gonna make a turn to the center and to the right and then turn it back down on the right and back to the point where we begin and for the left ear I'm gonna draw a curve line similar shape as the outline of the ear and mirror that right there and in between the ear and the horn I'm gonna draw a triangular shape right here and along that I'm gonna draw a curve line like a unicorn horn so from the front part of the snout I'm gonna draw a curve line to the below her ear so I'm gonna draw the first curve right there and then the second one and then the third one and the last one to the back of the head now be Below the horn, I'm gonna draw a curve line across. And for her nostrils, I'm gonna draw an oval shape right there. And on the top right corner, I'm gonna draw across a curve line. And for her eyes, I'm gonna draw an oval shape at this point right here. And I'm gonna leave a gap on the right side right there and I'm gonna make a turn in and a sharp turn back out at the bottom and we're gonna fill that in with black on the top left corner of the eye I'm gonna add a curve line for her lashes and another one at the side below the head I'm gonna draw a curve line down in the center on both sides and below that point I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape and below the rectangular shape I'm gonna draw diagonal line on the side a shorter one on the right and I'm gonna connect the two together with a diagonal line across 
and at the side at this point here I'm gonna draw a line to the side and up and same goes to the left side here and there and then below the face at this point here I'm gonna draw a curve line out and down to the sleeve and the same goes to the right side here and I'm gonna turn it to the center on both sides and then for the side of the outfit I'm gonna take this point and draw a curve line down on both sides and all the way to the side of her skirt and then I'm gonna draw across a curve line right there and below that line at this point here I'm gonna draw a curve line down and then at the bottom part I'm gonna make a semicircle turn right there and back up in the center and across a curve line and I'm gonna copy the same shape of the leg on the right side right here now for her hands I'm gonna draw a line out and a semicircle turn at the tip and turn it back to the sleeve the same goes to the left side here as well and across her sleeve I'm gonna draw a curve line right there and around her waist I'm gonna add curve line across and we're gonna draw the ribbon in the center with this rectangular shape and another rectangular shape at the side with flaring angle at the sides and we're gonna add a small line at the side of the center rectangle at the side of the the tie I'm gonna draw a curve line across on both sides and at this point here I'm gonna draw a line out and down and the same goes to the right side there and along that line I'm gonna add three circles like that For her tail, I'm gonna draw a diamond shape at that corner. And that's all for our tutorial today. I hope you enjoy it and find my lessons helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Also, feel free to drop your requests, suggestions, or any other comments in the comment section below. See you next time.